Hi guys and welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing and UK One Wheel channel. Now, my ski wax bench off season just becomes a dumping ground. I've got old BMX parts, my gimbal camera, old rugs, you name it, uh, towels, etc. all over here. Now this obviously is my workstation. I am a little bit limited of obviously using my bench because obviously I've put these supports across so I can get a real good strong base for the skis and snowboards that I wax. So I thought I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, obviously still in lockdown so I'm trying to find content to bring to you in the masses. I'm going to put you on time lapse and I'm actually going to bring to you a build. There's my cool retro BMXs that I built. Oh. Funky. Um, I'm going to put you on time lapse. Uh, I've got a pile of wood, my little toolbox, my saw as well as other bits. The cool eye pace there in the background and i'm actually gonna put you on time lapse and build myself a new ski wax bench um, and that's going to locate in my garage so basically i can then do my youtube videos from the other side of it and obviously bring it to you i'm going to try and funk it up a bit as well um so it's going to be over a couple of days but this is going to be the start of it so i'm going to stick you back put some music on watch your time lapse and this is me building a bench i've got no plans no ideas it's purely freehand so this could go horribly wrong or hopefully it'll be a great success. Keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Okay, so framework all built. The reason for this bit sticking inwards, obviously I'm gonna board across the whole top of this. It's just purely so I've got room for my knee when standing. Um, I can actually stand underneath the board so when I'm waxing I can put pressure onto the base of the ski um, and obviously when doing the edges. So nothing really complex, everything's sounded. It's all nice and smooth, as you can see. So I shouldn't get any splinters off. But yeah, one framework. So um, I'm going to clad all of it anyway. Um, and you're going to see that bit next. So stay tuned.
Okay, guys, it is all finished. One finished bench. So I've actually managed to get a secondhand snowboard that was in a, a, not in fantastic condition. And I've had this fully wrapped with my logo on. Um, so basically when I'm gonna be doing YouTube videos, obviously I can set this up here and in the background I can play my YouTube videos. I've got my signs up there from all the ski resorts that I've been to, uh, that I've been able to get signs to, my mini from when I've owned it from the age of uh, 16 all the way up to now. So this, it's been in magazines and all sorts of things. So uh, got some one wheel memorabilia, my old skateboard, another skateboard teddy bears from my kids so yeah a lot of memorabilia in there behind me i've got my downhill mountain bike just over there but yes anyway back to the bench it is 190 centimeters long it is 50 centimeters wide um pretty much has cost me 25 30 pounds in materials and that's for the whole thing so um i have managed to reclaim as much materials as physically possible all the wood with the burning extra that I've done obviously has come off of pallets the top board has come off of the jobs that I've done in the past we've got on here I'm just actually gluing some felt onto this but this is obviously where my, my actual gun's gonna sit and my gun my waxing iron so we can obviously put that on there um, and allow obviously that to sit I've got a p-tex um, box that I made burnt all that up so that's all quite funky and cool um, with my lighter there. I've got my brushes, one, two, three, so different brushes. Um, we've got all and loads of storage underneath here. Um, we've got all my waxes. Um, I'm actually gonna build a drawer that's gonna sit here and I'm gonna better pull out. Because obviously these ones here that I've got, um, these drawers here um, are purely and simply drawers to catch all the dirt that actually comes off of the skis so you can brush it into these four holes. Um, if we just quickly whiz that out. Um, so we'd be able to brush all the dirt, all the wax into these holes, that collects into there, and then obviously I can pull it out um, and can chuck it away so it doesn't fall all over my nice rubber cleaned floor. Now, obviously these grooves in here, this is purely so I can twist and take out, and obviously I can adjust, because without that, I can't actually twist. So that's what those grooves are for. And obviously I've got for shorter skis and longer skis, I've put the kick up at the end, just here and just here, for the simple reason when that ski just lips up at the end, if you're going up to 195s, um, obviously it's got, giving myself an extra 20 centimetres of length there so to catch the wax, so we can brush it back in and obviously try and keep it as clean as possible. Um, gone for kind of like a funky green and blue dotted design. Um, I've got to put another layer of varnish just on here to harden so obviously I can scrape the wax off. We've got a map here, didn't quite go according to plan sadly. This is Val de Zare and Teens and then I've got St Anton, Steuben, Zerdlek. That's one of my favourite ski resorts in the Austrian Alps. Absolutely love that. Obviously Instagram, follow me on Instagram if you don't mind. Um, and that's obviously my pricing, my telephone number if you're in the Devon area you want to book your skis in. So um, for my retro BMXs which are also on my channel, the build for that. So why not go and check that out? Thank you ever so much indeed for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe. Got myself a beer. Happy days. One ski waxing bench, all finished, all purpose built, no plan, just purely and simply built it as I went along. And uh, no doubt I'll be adding more bits to it. But thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, I've got some more iPace videos coming. I'm actually going to be out tomorrow morning. Weather's actually been good now for two days. I'm going to get out on my one wheel uh, and get some miles under my belt. Catch up with my buddy Tom for some... Uh, uh, Distant, social distancing should we say sounds weird but anyway stay tuned thanks for watching and i'll see you soon